guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today's video, I'm just kind of getting thrown into it. I had no idea what I was going to be filming today, but I knew it would come. We actually ran into Walmart and we saw that Home Edit had released their like organizational bin line. So I grabbed one of everything. There's a few things I got multiple of just because I thought I would need it for different spaces. So first I'm going to show you everything I bought and what's in their line and then we are going to get to organizing. Okay, so before we get started, let me just show you everything I bought. And like I said, I bought everything in the collection that my Walmart had. So I don't know if there's more, but I feel like I got it all. So I grabbed a two of these and it's called the Narrow and Neat. And it's just the everything narrow bin. I feel like these will be so helpful to have. And I have this like in my pantry section, but you can use any of these anywhere you like. I mean, they're just clear bins, but this does give you an idea of how to use it. And that's why I like it. So this one right here is the five piece pantry edit I love seeing the pictures um, if you guys have been around for a while I actually did a um, home style edit declutter video um, in my last house so I'll link that down below but once again I just love that it comes in sets um, I'm pretty sure yeah this is the same thing right here it's just laying a different way but right here you can see everything that it comes with the reason I grabbed two of these is because I already have two of these like spice rack um, can holders and so I knew I'd want two of the clear ones and then it also has the lazy Susan um, over here this is the 10 piece piece of bath set I think this is gonna be so helpful I love that it comes with 10 um, buying stuff for drawers can be overwhelming you don't know how many you're gonna need um, I don't know it just can be hard so I love that this already comes with so many so you can make your drawers work. If you needed to grab a few of these, you could. I'm going to link all of this down below in my description box just in case you're curious or you can run to your local Walmart. This one is the five piece laundry edit. Like I said, you can use this in your laundry room if you need it in your pantry, if you need it in your bathroom. It all works. I feel like a lot of these are the same things. They've just clustered them in to make it easier for buying. This one's just the eight piece multi-purpose edit. There's a picture. So if you can tell if you're new, they are all about organizing like rainbow style. Let me show you a picture of them right here. So they have a Netflix series, but they started out on Instagram. So definitely check them out. You will be addicted. And then I just grabbed three of these extra, like everything large bins. Cause I feel like you can use these anywhere, toys, chips, laundry, Wherever you need them, you're gonna be able to use them. So now that you can see everything I bought, let's get to organizing. Have this I did also want to mention that Lindsay from Lindsay Life and Style um, talked about she went and bought these as well and her video is actually going up tomorrow. So I'm going to leave the link to her channel um, down below in my description box. Once her video goes live, I'll switch it to that link, but definitely be on the lookout for her video if you want to see how she uses these products because it's always helpful to see how different people use them. Just so you can see everything that comes inside the pantry kit, it is one of these, two of these smaller ones, and then two of these bigger ones, just so you have an idea. Like I said, I bought two because I was needing at least two of these. So that's everything that comes in this little set here. Okay guys, just in case you're wondering about the quality, I've been popping up on the screen the prices just so you have an idea, but I feel like it's very, very well priced. I feel like it's very high quality. 
I will say I don't have like a container store around here so I can't compare it to that but it seems way nicer than most of the pieces I've been buying. I did look up some of their pieces because they do have um, the home edit collection at the container store and the prices are way higher and I swear some of the pieces are exactly the same. Um, I'll try to mention those as I see them but I am very happy with everything. I feel like it's super high end. It's going to last really well. Um, and the prices are really good. So $25 for a set I feel like is great. If you even go to Target and look at their organizers, they add up quickly. So I feel like this is a really good buy. Won't let you touch me, won't let you go to my head. Cause I know I'm dealing with the I do want to say that like these clear bin organizers are not a must. You can organize your pantry without them, but if it is in the budget and you like the way it looks, I do feel like it looks nicer. It keeps grouped items together. Um, then you can kind of see when you're running low, things aren't scattered throughout the entire pantry or inside a cabinet. So I feel like they're very helpful. You're gonna see I'm not taking stuff out of the packaging. Um, to me, that just got to be so much work, but I am taking it out of the box that it came in. So I feel like just doing that step, it's easy to do, it still looks nice. Now my pantry is gonna be more colorful since I'm not taking it out of the packages, but I'm okay with that just because it is a little bit easier than putting everything into clear containers with lids on them. So right here you can see the difference. It was in this cardboard bin with the orange packaging. It's still orange because it's in the clear bin, but I can see how many I have. I'm not going to get confused on it. Now I will say you could use that cardboard and make it look nicer. Say you're on a tighter budget, you could spray paint it, you could wrap it in some type of paper if you want to, especially if you like pattern and color. That would be a good way to go, but I feel like less is more, especially when it comes to color. So already having all of the colorful packages is enough for me. So having clear bins where I can see straight through them and it's not any, adding any extra like layers of color or texture works best for me. Real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this eight piece multi-purpose edit because I feel like I could use some of these smaller ones in my pantry. Um, the main areas that I'm gonna be focusing on are my pantry and then my bathroom. Um, I may try these in the laundry room since there's like a whole laundry room um, kit, but I'm just, my main, main focus is to make this pantry look nice. So let's open up this so I can show you guys like what is exactly inside of it. Okay, so in the eight piece multi-purpose edit, you get two of these big ones again. So keep that in mind. You may not need to buy extra of these because it's coming within the bins. Then you get this size, two of them, this size, two of them, and then two small ones. I feel like this is a great kit because you get so many sizes, um, especially in the pantry. I don't always need a huge one for like, Kind of like breakfast bars. I think it'll work good in one of like um, this size right here. So I like having different sizes. Now I'm typically, since I'm pretty much organized in here, I'm just bringing out and putting food in the bins and putting them in. But if you don't have any bins at all, you might clear out your whole pantry and see how the bins fit and then start putting food in. But I kind of was already working with a system I had, so I'm just making it look nicer and getting bins to keep things like organized. Look at this side, like it's already looking so much better. Okay. 
Okay, since we were low, it actually fits in the smaller one. When we get a new package, I may need to move it over to a big one, but for now, this works great. The reason why I love this better than in this container, because you're like, Ashley, you're putting it from one clear container to the next, they're not getting smashed this way. When we were throwing them in here, like they're all bent and kind of broken because we were just chunking them in and they were landing on top of each other. I like that this keeps me even a little more organized so we don't like smash our food. You'll have to keep in mind when you're buying the sets that even those like everything large bins, those are $10 a piece. And I feel like most of the sets were coming with two of them. So that's already $20 of the $25 kit. Plus you're getting all the extra ones with it. So I feel like you are getting a better deal with the like collection kits. So keep that in mind, know what you're going in for, or you can click on the links down below. Sometimes it's easier to shop online because you can like process what you're needing and what you're wanting. So I'll have those links for you down below. Okay, so I'm trying to assess as I go and I have quite a few of these and they just look so nice. So um, I don't have to switch these out, but just so everything kind of flows, I feel like I'm gonna replace these and I can use these anywhere in my house. I never really get rid of like a clear bin organizer because you can use them so many places. Um, these aren't even the home edit, but they're still the nice clear. So I feel like they're tying in with these. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out these down here and I'm gonna see how many big ones I can fit across. I honestly think these bins will look beautiful when I can actually label them. I'm not gonna do that today. Just organizing alone was enough for today. When you're working on your pantry, sometimes it can be super overwhelming, but it's always so rewarding at the end and I'll worry about making labels another day. So don't feel pressured to get like everything done in one day. If you can just get your pantry organized and decluttered, I call that a win. Another tip, if you're starting to stock up like me, I feel like sometimes the stores, it's getting harder to find the things you need. Plus I shop at Sam's a lot, so we buy in bulk. I feel like these containers are great for that because you're gonna have so much overflow. You're gonna have more than one item. It just kind of keeps everything together and makes it look nice and neat if it's gonna be in a space that you're in every single day. And I don't even cook much and we're in our pantry a lot and I just want it to look nice and clean when I open it. I did recently grab these Lazy Susans from the Target dollar spot. I wanna say they were like $5, but since I had two clear ones, I wanted to go ahead and switch it over. I like when things look alike and match. So I went ahead and moved it over. I also like how this rim is very low profile so you can pull it off easier. It's not having to go across that bar. So my Target ones will be good to decorate with, but I'm happy with how these look in the pantry. Okay, so I just opened up the five piece laundry edit just because I wanted this piece out of it because I'm gonna use it in my pantry. So just remember, you can mix and match these pieces. Maybe you want this set for your pantry, that's fine. So that's why I'm trying to show you what's in every set. I will say what's cool about this one with these bins, it's got this cutout. I'll show you how they have like, they're using it for like their laundry detergent and like iron, but this would be really good for like kids snacks, snack size Cheez-Its or something like that because they can still reach in and grab it. So I think this would be great for the pantry as well, but I was just jumping in here to get this guy. But just so you can see, it comes with two of those, two of these. Let me see if they're stackable. 
so they're even stackable so if you have a little kid that can reach in there and like grab something you could do that as well but I'm just gonna steal this out of it real quickly okay and just so you guys know that big bin with the cutout when you get on the container store it looks identical to it from the home edit and that alone was $21.99 and you get two of them in this set plus more organizers for only $25. So keep that in mind because I think that's a really good steal if you're gonna be needing those. Just a friendly reminder, anytime you're decluttering, organizing, it always gets worse <laughs> before it gets better. I know you guys don't always see like behind the camera. So I just wanted you to see things are gonna get messy. But in here, it's starting to get pretty and once it's done, it's worth it. But just wanted to give you a little reality check. a little tip when organizing sometimes you have to try it a few ways to see which way fits best so this can be putting the organizers into a space or this can be what's going inside the organizer definitely try it going different directions because sometimes it doesn't seem like it'll fit better and it actually does and that's what happened um, with these spices when I was organizing them okay First, I'm gonna show you my kitchen. I have these left over that I can use somewhere else. These are even pretty setting out for different places. I might use these in my laundry room now. I think this is the one set I haven't opened up yet, which is the bathroom one. I think I'm gonna be doing that one next because I'm really excited about it. Um, these are the containers I have left to work with for either my bathroom or the laundry room. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in there today or not. This one was exhausting, <laughs> but it is done. I mean, it's not completely Pinterest worthy because I didn't take things out of the package. Now, if it's something like hot chocolate or like oatmeal, I feel like taking it out of the box helps. This just makes it look prettier. When these two are gone, it's gonna look even better like when their ones aren't sitting on top, kind of more like this. But for now, you can just see, this is prettier than a box. Same goes with this. When I buy some of the stuff, we get it from Sam, so we get a ton of it. And instead of having a ton of cardboard boxes, you can actually see like what's in here so food doesn't go bad, you know what you have. I feel like this saves so much money, especially with kids, so they can see. Um, you can just see everything's in nice little clear dividers. I love the way it looks. This is like the most colorful area in my house <laughs> just because everything else um, is just so neutral. But when it comes to the pantry, just having like a ton of like these clear bins just it wasn't working for me it's fine in products that i'm not like switching out all the time but i just don't mind anymore having stuff like this i still like having these for some reason i picked these up from like the dollar tree um these were from like home goods so you can see you can like mix and match with their products so like put theirs front and center so it's nice and pretty and then off to the side you can have like the cheaper ones that you don't notice um you could also label these i'm sure i'll do it at some point like i have these labeled i'm just too tired to be honest with myself to go do a few more spaces but i am really really happy with the way it turned out
Okay, now I'm gonna open up this real fast in here and then we can head to my bathroom. Since we only have this left and these three items, I don't think I'm gonna work on my laundry room. I feel like last time, can I get these over here without dropping them? Um, I feel like I just recently organized in there and I don't need a ton of like bins. So hopefully I can just use all of these in our master bathroom. Okay, so as far as the bathroom kit or bundle, whatever they call it goes, you get three of these bigger ones, four of these like medium size, and then three of these small ones. They're so pretty. If you have tons of storage, you might need a couple of these. <laughs> um, I don't know how far these are gonna go. My bathroom is so overwhelming at this point. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I also got some more of my red Aspen nails in, so I'll definitely be organizing those. But just for another dose of reality, I want you guys to see inside these cabinets. I know you guys all think, let me turn some lights on, that my house is perfectly organized, but let's start underneath the Chase's sink. His is probably way better than mine. Yeah, look at that. This is like our toothbrush drawer. I don't even think I'm gonna deal with this today. Like it all just needs to be deep cleaned and I don't think I have it in me. And when I actually like put things where they belong, it looks nice. This is a drawer I kind of need to tackle that I keep trying to. Underneath here, it's not terrible. <laughs> I just need to work on it. Up here, I have like some products I need to organize. So I don't know if I'm gonna use the bins in there. Let me flip this light on just to help. And then down here, we've got the baseline going. So I might like tidy it up. I don't know. I'm gonna bring the bins in here and just start, but I'm not gonna lie. There's so many areas that I'm like, I need to declutter. Do I need bins? Do I not need bins? What's happening? Why can't I keep this thing clean? <laughs> so not everything is perfect in my house <laughs> okay so i brought all my products in here just so i know exactly what i'm working with I try to keep like sizes together so you also have an idea i decided with chase i'm not even gonna bug his stuff like he has a system i'm not gonna touch it this i'm gonna try not to touch today just because i need to deep clean things the first place i'm gonna start is right here i think this will be an easy place to start to get me back motivated with some of these and then we'll move on from here Right here just goes to show what three minutes and one bin <laughs> can do. So this is just one organizer. This is that cutout kind that was from like the laundry room set. I just put my like little appliances right here, cleaning supplies, my trash can. A lot of it was just trash and a lot of it needed just to be grouped together. So. Hopefully all the rest of mine go this quick as two, but if you feel like projects are gonna take long, sometimes they do, but typically the ones you're most worried about, just don't, you just have to get started. Now we're gonna move on to this drawer, and honestly, no one sees this drawer but me, so I'm probably gonna save these nicer ones for stuff that's gonna just look nicer and not gonna end up looking like this. I have this cloth bin in here and it keeps kind of just getting messed up. That one, since I have so many of these clear bins left over for my pantry that I previously had in there, I'm gonna try reworking those in here and see if I can make this work a little better. Okay, so I was totally just about to organize this drawer and I was like, I wish I had a few small ones. I forgot I had ran by Target, like the dollar spot. Um, I bought these last year when they came out. They come out like right around this time. And like this size, you get two for a dollar. These are one dollar, but they're a good size. I picked up a few of those. This size is two for a dollar and I picked up a few of those. So I actually have these to work with as well. So if the home edit style isn't in your budget, which is fine. It's not always been in my budget. 
Dollar Tree has dollar organizers. Obviously, they're not this big. Um, they have bigger ones. They may not be clear, but um, Target Dollar Spot do carry these. They're not completely clear, but they still look really nice. These are really good for like drawer organizers, makeup, cotton balls, like pencils. You can use these so many different places. So when my dollar spot gets them, I like to just grab a ton and keep them on hand in a bin in my garage. So when I do get motivated to organize like I do now, I have some to work with. And like I said, they're only a dollar. So even if you're on a small budget, you can definitely still make it work. So you think you were right? Mm -hmm. Bring it on, bring it on, boom. This drawer was full of my hair just because it had all my hair products in it. So I just took a second to go ahead and vacuum it out before I put new things in it. It's worth it to take a few seconds to clean it because it'll look so much better once you have it organized, especially if you're putting clear bins in because you're gonna see right through them. Okay, so here's like a realistic organization. Um, I think it's gonna function better for me. This is like stuff I use um, when I'm putting makeup on, just like head wraps. Um, this is like all different hair clips, rubber bands, and then any of my hot tools I have in this one bin. So once they cool off, I can just like wind them up and put them in there. So I'm hoping this system works a little bit better than my last one because I'm happy with like the way it looks. This is the next spot that I don't think it's gonna take much. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these bins. Honestly, I don't even think, let me see if they would fit. Oh yeah, they would fit. But I'm gonna work with what I have if I need some of these or down here I'll use them, but I think I can do this in like less than three minutes and it'll look nice. Okay, final reveal that looks so much better. So just by filling up your spaces with organizers, that's kind of how I did it this time. I put as many in there that would fit. As you can see, there's like this open spot back there, but it's okay if I had a ton, I could have made it work. I think if I would have used these, I could have made it fit, but I wanna save those so they're kind of all used together. And this is just like our toothpaste drawer, so not a ton of people see it. So as you can see, that's looking good. That looks really good. Just from like when I walked in here 20 minutes ago, it's already feeling like so much better. Now I'm gonna begin working on this space. Typically I have no idea what I'm gonna do until I get started. I just need to start working on it, otherwise I put it off. So let's get to going. I really hope you guys are enjoying today's video and getting some motivation. If you are, be sure and give it a thumbs up if you're liking it. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. But let's keep organizing. This top half is finished now. This is where like a label, like my Cricut machine, I'm gonna come in and eventually one day label these just because I can't really see the ones in the back. So if I had a clear label that said like hair mask, moisturizers, razors, I mean obviously I can still see it and move it, but makeup, it would just be easier. Um, and right now I know what they are because I just organized them, but eventually I may forget this was all different kinds of cleansers or this is different type of hand lotion or whatever it may be. So like I said, one day I will come in and organize that, but 
at least now it's broke down into smaller bins because when it was in that one big one I just kept throwing into it I didn't realize what I had didn't have so my daughter does a lot of skincare and she tries a lot but she's also very sensitive so when she can't use the product and if we can't return it I'll just save it in here for me to try so typically I don't have this amount of product but she's going through the stage where she's growing up and trying things so I have it in here I also have a lot of like extra back here just with Christmas time when stuff goes on sale and it's a really good deal I just like to buy up so it'll save me money so I have a lot of excess right now same goes with like um, hairspray when I find a good hairspray at Ross it's so cheap I grab it um, I got this for $9.99 and I actually walked in and I think it was at Reesers it was like 20 bucks so I saved $10 a bottle on that um, so yeah I got that looking good this isn't gonna take too long I just need to straighten it up I do have some organizers left so I'm gonna figure out how I want to do my nails so I can see them a little better so I don't think this should take very long at all So I haven't talked about my nails lately so I just wanted to mention again that I still am wearing red aspen nails. I love them. I felt like every time I was going to the salon I was spending like $55. I remember in high school it used to be like $15 for a fill and $20 for a new set which I know times have changed but I love that these are anywhere from like $13 to $15. Um, they say they last up to two weeks. I have to like rip mine off at three weeks or soak them off if I want them to come off or switch out the set so I feel like they hold up really well they have so many different colors and patterns and shapes I'll buy whatever size I need and then just clip them and file them down to size because I like mine super short um, but I love this product it's affordable you can reuse them so if you're needing like an at-home mani if you're trying to save money or you're just sick of going to the salon or you never leave happy when you go there because I know that's me all the time Definitely check these out. I'll leave my link down below because I absolutely love them. Get it up, get it up. And there is the last cabinet. The only thing I wish I could do is I need to find a bin where these can face like the same direction as all of these. I'll have to look and see if I have one that would fit that way or I just need to rotate these. Basically, these are all the nails that I like to wear. I do buy these like fun ones and even long ones because a lot of my nieces or Savannah's friends like to come in here and do it. And so obviously they don't want all neutrals. So I have some like more fun nails back there, which I guess that may work because that's easier for me to remember. Like those are all their nails and I can just grab out for them. I don't know. Anyways, I think it looks good. All of these spaces just like feel so much better. It's like I know it's a lot but anymore I just feel so much better being stocked up on items and I tend to do it more too just in the winter because if we get a really bad ice storm or anything around here I just like have things on hand. We're not going to talk about that drawer. Um, so yeah everything's looking great. Okay guys that is a wrap. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I did not know I was gonna be decluttering today and organizing but all those spaces feel so 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 much better. So like I mentioned earlier I'm going to link all those home edit um, products down below my description box so if you want to have them shipped to you that's always the easiest way. I dread going into Walmart. I just let them deliver my groceries <laughs> and all that fun stuff. So I'll have those linked down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you got some motivation today, um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.